All right, another potential failure mode related to relief valves is a valve in an incorrect orientation on the pump. Uh, that is meaning that the valve itself is mounted in a way so that uh, it would be inoperable in case there's an overpressure condition or in case an overpressure condition should occur. Remember that Viking relief valves are operable only in one orientation. In other words, if the valve is mounted 180 degrees opposite of how it should be, uh, that valve will not open when an overpressure condition occurs. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with the Viking relief valve, again, review the, uh, the Viking internal relief valve video uh, to familiarize yourself with some of the terms I'm going to be using here. Now, this doesn't cover all Viking pumps. Some Viking pumps, the internal relief valve is built into the pump itself. This does, however, cover most of the internal gear pump line, large external gear pumps, and the Viking vein pumps as well. Now, when this occurs, if we have a relief valve mounted in the inoperable position, there may be no symptoms at all. If that pump is operating at a low pressure, the valve wouldn't have been opening anyway if it's in a correct orientation, and so it becomes a difficult to detect unless you walk by the pump and see it uh, or observe it mounted in the incorrect orientation. Now the correct orientation should be the adjusting screw cap is pointed off towards the inlet side of the pump or the suction piping. The incorrect orientation would be that that valve is pointed towards the discharge side, uh, that the adjusting screw cap is pointed towards the outlet side, the downstream side of that pump. Now the symptoms, again, you may observe no symptoms uh, just from the fact that the pressure is low, but if pressure begins to increase in the discharge line, that is to say that uh, there's a downstream blockage, a valve starts to close, and pressure gets beyond what that relief valve was set for, that's gonna be our first symptom, that we're going to detect an overpressure condition in the discharge piping beyond what that pump or system was originally rated for. That can then manifest itself as other symptoms. Uh, say, for example, uh, drive equipment. You may find that the motor trips the breaker or a coupling fails as a result of now trying to generate too much horsepower to generate the required pressure to force the liquid through the discharge line. Now the remedy for this is very easy. We want to take that valve off the pump, remove the bolts that retain it to the head or to the casing of the pump, turn the valve 180 degrees and mount it back onto the pump casing so it's in the proper orientation, again with that adjusting screw cap pointed off towards the inlet or suction side of the pump. After that, you may want to check that setting as well. Make sure that the setting is correct for the application at hand. In other words, that it stays closed during normal operation, but is at a low enough pressure so that we don't get into extreme pressures uh, that that system or that pumping unit may not be rated for. Uh, after that, we'd be back up and running uh, and the problem is resolved.